So when you guys come out to Greece on your very first trip, should you guys explore the islands on a cruise? I'm gonna show you just that in today's video. Yes. Celestial Cruz? Your name is? Christopher Lau. Yes. Awesome. Good morning, you guys. Welcome to a brand new video today in an exciting new video series. Uh, so yesterday I made it out to Athens, Greece. I'm here in Athens, or specifically I'm in Greece for two full weeks. I'll be back in Athens for four days after the next five days, which I'm really stoked for. I had a quick, quick little day, explored Athens briefly, um, but right now heading on a one hour drive to Lavrion. So there's two port cities out here in Greece. Uh, Lavrion is one of them. And for the next five days, I'm gonna be taking you guys out on a cruise, an exciting cruise for the next five days out here in Greece. So when now we got about a 50 minute drive to an hour roughly. Again, I'll be back in Athens in about five, six days to show you guys around and uh, we should be Lavrion very soon. Wow, this is so epic. So we made it to the port. The check-in process was pretty smooth. Uh, about to board the boat, the ship. This is incredible. I haven't been on a cruise ship like this, this big specifically in almost, almost 20 years. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Celestial Olympia, guys. So we checked into the ship just a few hours ago. We ended up having lunch in one of the lounges. Uh, we also did a mandatory lifeboat drill with our life jackets. Everyone is out there in the life jackets. And uh, we also did a tour. So this boat is really, really big. I'm really excited to be spending time for the next four nights, five days on this ship. Tons of restaurants, like two or three different restaurants. We can actually eat at two of them, I believe. Uh, there's also a couple pools. So there's two swing pools right on the ninth deck. They also have a couple restaurants a bar like on the 12th deck, I think, 11th or 12th deck, another bar on the outside, another lounge. They just have so many things you can do here. If the kids were here, they also have a nice kids club. I would highly recommend air hockey, arcades, awesome, tons of activities to do. You can also go shopping and they also have a nice gym and fitness center, which I'm super stoked to hit the gym probably if I have time before we hit our first stop later on. But the room we checked into for the next four nights, five days is an interior cabin suite with like a little window. Uh, I have two beds, so I have plenty of space, especially being by myself. Um, and yeah, this is my home for the next four nights, five days. But I'm really excited for our first stop, which is Mykonos in just a couple hours. But I'm gonna relax on the boat. Uh, it, you can say comment on myself a little bit more and I'll catch you guys in just a couple hours at Mykonos. All right. Made it to our first stop. Welcome to Mykonos. Holy smokes. <laughs> ah. Hello, yoo what's up? So if you heard of Greece, Mykonos is like a dream destination. It's always compared to Santorini. Uh, someone on the way here told me it's like the Miami of Greece. So um, lots of things to do supposedly out in Mykonos. Right now with the excursion that we have, we're doing a little Mykono Mykon Mykonian dinner. I think that's how you say it. Uh, starting off with a little city tour. I gotta catch up with my group, but we made it to the old port right behind me. We ended up docking the cruise ship at the new port. At the old port is a lot of yachts in the summertime and this, is the walkway to Mykonos town right over here. We're gonna check out the windmills and then we're gonna head to dinner. So we just passed like one beach, uh, not the prettiest of them beaches, but I did hear the tour guide said, if you wanna head to beach in Mykonos, head to the southern part of the island. A little walk, it took about 15, 20 minutes walking through town. Uh, they're saying that a lot of the buildings, which are painted white, blue, you get some red, some different colors, were inspired by the ocean, the sea. Um, and yeah, we made it through town. Most of the buildings are not past the second floor, she was telling us. And uh, our final destination, not really our final destination, but we made it to. The windmills behind me were created specifically for one reason, to crush grain. So they can produce tons and tons of flour and grain for the island of Mykonos the famous windmills right behind me. So right now, I think I think I lost my tour group. We're gonna hang out here at the windmills just for a little longer. Uh, and then we have a dinner scheduled in about 45 minutes. We're heading back to the middle part of town and going to dinner, a Mykonian dinner. I'm excited. So 20 minutes drive from the main part of Mykonos, we made it to Anu Meta village. Guys, the windmill is arguably the best sunset spot in the entire island. Definitely stop at that spot. We're about to have our Mykonian dinner. 
So guys, we made to a little area that has like tons of little restaurants, little shops. Right in the middle, there's kids playing soccer. And uh, this feta cheese, this Greek salad is incredible. Right now we have some appetizers. The main course is coming very soon though. <laughs> All right, so for the main course, we got some chicken, really, really good. Some potatoes, a little lemony taste. We got some rice. And this is moussaka, which I haven't had yet. But what an awesome day at Mykonos. We're gonna get back to the boat very soon and we'll catch you early in a whole new country. We'll see you in Turkey. Good morning guys, welcome to stop number two on the cruise and officially country number 36 for me. Uh, so we made it to Kusadasi, Turkey. The rest of the group ended up leaving like an hour and a half ago. I'm super jet lagged, I'm super exhausted. I did not fall asleep last night. Uh, so I ended up resting a little bit more on the ship, uh, but I'm gonna be exploring Kusadasi right now by myself, just briefly around the city. The thing I love and don't love about these cruises is you stop at so many different places, but just a short amount of time. So it's kind of like a tease, definitely have to be back. Uh, but supposedly Kusadasi, which Turkey is known for, they have a famous bazaar right around the corner. We're gonna check that out and uh, just explore a little of the city today. Guys, welcome. Welcome to Turkey. When you get off the boat, there's some shops. It's like the little port bazaar, um, but the city bazaar is the main bazaar you wanna go to. They open at 8 a.m. They're closing around 9 p.m.-ish, and uh, there's tons of shops, tons of stores, uh, tons of little cafes and restaurants too. Uh, I ended up buying a t-shirt, so the price was a little more pricier. I ended up having to negotiate it down. 80 euros, I negotiated it down to 50 for three t-shirts. It's a little pricier, especially in Southeast Asia. I think it's like $5 for three t-shirts in Southeast Asia, but Got some souvenirs for the family and uh, I'm gonna be walking around the city bazaar still. Do you, do you have some tea? Yeah. Do you have tea? I have. I honestly didn't think I'd find a place this quick. I found a place like that. Mmm. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong. It's strong, but it's really good. So the tea here is incredible. So this is Arhan. He's actually the owner of Buddha Coffee. He was telling me that five, six hundred years ago, this was built and it was built as a wall that shoots all the way that way, connecting to something that shoots out in the water. So I got a drone shot of this little thing that shoots out to the water. It's like an island and that was actually a castle. There was a war about five, six hundred years ago between Greece and Turkey. Um, and yeah, the wall was built six hundred years ago. All right, you guys, so I got more apple Turkish tea. I got eggs with cheesy toast. I got potatoes. I got a salad all for nine American dollars. The food here is really, really good. Um, on top of that, everyone here is super nice. So just around the bazaar, if you don't spend money, like where most night markets or most markets when I travel, if you don't spend money in, in markets specifically, they're going to be mean to you. They'll give you looks. Uh, they don't do that here. Good vibes, positive vibes so far in Turkey. Excited to bring the family hopefully here one day. Scratch the surface of Kusadasi, but amazing time. Definitely gonna bring the family. Heading back to the cruise right now. Gonna get some lunch, meet up with everyone, and then we're heading back to Greece. We have another stop tonight. You guys will see. All right, you guys, so I met up with everyone. We made it off the cruise ship onto a little boat. It was about a 10, 15 minute ride, and we made it onto Patmos, uh, Patmos Island back in Greece. Uh, the first stop was these windmills. Supposedly, it's the best viewpoint of the entire island of Patmos. I was able to get my drone up, beautiful drone shots. Uh, on top of that, you're able to see the castle or the monastery. So it was actually built in 1088, over 900 years ago. Uh, we're actually walking around it right now in like the little white village. Really, really vibe. We absolutely love the everything here. Just check it out. The walls, the doors, the windows. You love this village too, right? Yes, I do. It's super cute. And uh, now we're walking around it. The castle or the monastery is right back there. Instagram shots everywhere. Bangers everywhere, right? Bangers everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> this is a famous holy spot where Saint John of Patmos saw the new revelation and he created the book of the New Testament, the, new, the revelation, uh, right over here. So this is a holy, holy spot. Unfortunately, you can't go in it and take photos, take video at all. Uh, and yeah, this is the last spot of the day. The boat is out there waiting for us. 
And yeah, it was an awesome time, quick time out here in Patmos. We're gonna head back to the boat now. Long, long day. Tomorrow we have one location we're heading to for majority of the day only, and uh, we'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'm exhausted. Calimera. 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 All right, guys, welcome to day three of the cruise Calimera, which means good morning. Uh, we made it to the island of Rhodes, which we're going to be on for the entire day. Rhodes is known for hotels, villas, little medieval, like, old town village. Uh, it's a really popular island out here in Greece, one of the largest islands out here. And uh, today, as you see, I'm in my flip-flops. Today's a beach day. They're known for beaches, hotels, resorts. We're going to be checking out a couple of the beaches. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is the Acropolis of Lindos right over here. There's a couple beaches down there. So the excursion is exploring the Acropolis of Lindos. I think everyone's going to be checking out the Acropolis. Uh, a group and I, we're going to be checking out one of the beaches down there. I'm excited for a little beach day. This is supposedly one of the most beautiful towns that we will see during the entire cruise. I'm stoked. Should be right down there. This, this is a long hike. I'm so out of shape. <laughs> it's so incredible to see the Acropolis up there. Woo, almost there. But this is, this is incredible. All these little villages. Out the beach. Woo! Guys, welcome to Lindo's Beach. This is beautiful. I love, we got the apocalypse up there, little village. The shape of like a giant horseshoe, they're saying, right over here. So you're protected by the waves. You can see how calm the water is. And we have this whole beach to ourselves. This is so wild. So everyone's back up there. They got a table getting some drinks. Um, but she was saying that uh, Lindo's Beach, normally all the locals will come here during June. That's when it's a lot warmer. That's when the water's warmer. Uh, unfortunately, I'm a tourist, and when you're a tourist, you'll go to the beach almost any time of the year. <laughs> an ice bath. I can't really feel my body. I'm a little numb. But... So, you can also rent a boat. There's a couple guys out here said they could take us out. An hour is about 60 euros, 60, 70 euros, he's saying, to somewhere that looks identical to the Maldives of the waters. That's what he was saying. I don't know if I'm gonna do it, but... The water is cold. Definitely, if you guys come out here, maybe June is the best time. But still, again, if you're a tourist, when you come to a beach like this, you're probably gonna jump in anytime. So unfortunately, all good things must come to an end. Awesome time at Lindo's beautiful village, even right behind me. Uh, we're gonna walk 10 minutes back to the bus, then an hour back to the cruise. You guys will see the next stop. We still have like five hours, six hours here on the island. All right, heading into the fourth floor right now. So we were dropped off through the medieval town. Uh, this is a really cool area full of castles, like reminds you of back back in the day. And uh, yeah, really cool experience. Right now we have about five hours, so we're gonna get some lunch. We might explore Rhodes a little longer, check out another beach. Rhodes is pretty nice. I do love the vibes, especially at the first beach, <sighs> but I'm hungry. Thank you, my friend. Welcome to Ellie Beach. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just walk up and down Ellie Beach. This isn't the beach I would probably recommend out here on this island of Rhodes. One thing I don't like about it, it's super rocky. So it's not sandy, you experience it right when you get to the beach. And it's like this all the way up to the water. And also another thing, it's not the best place for kids at all. Supposedly it's really, really deep here. So super deep all around the island in general. Our tour guide earlier was saying that the rainfall here is ridiculous. It rains extremely hard. And on top of that, there's a plethora of water here. So it's very, very deep and a ton of the islands surrounding roads kind of uh, relies on roads for the water supply. So 
that's kind of cool, but still, LA Beach isn't the beach I would recommend. So roads overall, great. If you want to find beautiful beaches and villas, you gotta find the right beach, of course. On top of that, if you want to see castles, medieval times, this is the experience for you. I have a 30 minute walk back through it. I'm really excited for the walk. And I'm uh, gonna head back to the cruise ship, play some ping pong. I found a ping pong table. We have a special dinner set up for us tonight. I'm really excited for the dinner. And tomorrow is our last full day. I'm excited to take you guys out tomorrow on our last two day in the cruise. Catch you guys tomorrow. Now for our last day, I ended up sleeping in a little longer and ended up leaving the ship to explore Heraklion. Crete is the largest island in all of Greece and a five minute taxi ride for seven euros led me to the main part of the city, Lions Square. Now despite the rain, tons of shops, people, restaurants, I paid 22 euros and even got a SIM card with 13 gigabytes of data. Then ended up meeting up with the group for some traditional gugatsa, which is a Greek savory or sweet breakfast or snack. Delicious. You can say it's like a roti from Thailand. Now we ended up making our way to the ship back through the rain, ended up having some lunch, doing some work, relaxing, and now we're about to explore our very last stop of the entire cruise, saving the best for last, arguably, Santorini. I'm really excited for Santorini. Let's get out of here, let's go guys. Guys, welcome to Santorini, officially. So this is our last stop uh, of the cruise. We did save the best for less. Uh, unfortunately, a couple of the boats already left for a couple of the excursions, uh, and it is raining right now. But right now, we're gonna go for a walk in one of the towns. We have to take a tram to go to the very, very top. Uh, this is, again, arguably the best destinations, one of the best destinations, if not in all of Greece. One. Thank you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, it's official. Welcome to Santorini. Holy smokes, look at that! So one thing that I didn't really like too much, it took us over about 90 minutes to get all the way from the cruise, just to the very top. That's about 30% of the time that we have to explore. Um, but right now, I think we made it to, uh, let me introduce you actually to Bridget and Jake here to the vlog real quick. They are actually passing me. Where did we make it to exactly? This is their fifth time, not their first, second or? Fourth or fifth time here, Santorini. I would fourth? say fourth, yeah. yeah. Fourth time. This is their fourth time here, so they're kind of experts at Santorini. <laughs> Where do we make it to? So we just arrived in Thera. Okay. So now we're gonna take a walk along the caldera, and we only have two hours, so we're gonna get as far as we can and kind of just take in all the views. So they're gonna actually blog this and write about this article or write about this place probably in their blog. You already probably have a few articles. We have a bunch, this. but so we're gonna articles, add some yeah. more. I'll link it. Check out their blogs if you don't want to watch my video. You want to read about it. We got you. Check it out, guys. Check it out, guys. <laughs> So if you guys are familiar to the channel, uh, I don't explore Europe too much. I didn't know this, but Santorini was actually a volcano. It once exploded uh, and it created this shape. And now it's a beautiful, just multiple villages throughout the island. We've been walking for a while. The views though kept getting better and better. The streets here, total vibes. We made it past town on another little street, but Yeah, we've been looking for a cafe to catch a drink and a view, a good view. But a lot of them, the seats have been wet because it's been raining, but hopefully we found one. So the beer was 11 euros, delicious local beer out here in Santorini. We had incredible views, and this was the perfect ending to our celestial cruise out here in Greece. So I just paid six euros, made it down from the tram, 
had an amazing time, great ending in Santorini, great vibes despite the rain. I was also with a good group of friends, so incredible experience the last four days. Just barely scratched the surface of Greece on a cruise, which is one thing I love about cruises. You see a lot, one thing I don't like, you barely scratch the surface, so you do have to come back. So I definitely look forward to bringing my family back to Santorini. It's beautiful up there, and uh, looking forward to coming back one day. But I hope you guys enjoyed the first video out here exploring the Greek islands. I'm gonna put a link below to Celestial Cruises website if you guys wanna book the same experience. Had an amazing experience with Celestial Cruises. So much to do, the food was incredible, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers, guys. On a jet plane, don't know when I'll be back again. Oh, babe, I hate to go.